Yo, what's going on guys? Now today's video is going to be another video, but this time it's going to be a different type of video and it's going to be mainly around the scale of the Dominion. Upcoming in the upcoming week, our weeks, there will be a lot of videos on this weapon. It's very, very, very meta defying. Um, if you didn't know, this is like the new epic weapon that everyone's been really going after. It's why everybody's been, you know, struggling to get into Anubis. If you've ever been trying, it's really, really hard. And no, I did not Dama bar it, and I do not recommend anyone Dama barring this weapon. I farmed it. Farm your weapons. Don't rush it. Farm at your own pace. If you don't get it instantly, you'll eventually get it. Keep doing your trains daily, and over time, you're going to end up getting it. Yes, I got it faster than most people because I farmed hard, and I got lucky. Okay, it's a game. It's gotcha, and it's got RNG, and I got lucky. That's how it goes. Now, anyways, back to this, right? Now, this weapon has a very unique skill. Only it has, and one character in the game has. And because of that, it's very, very, very universal. So do expect to see a lot of content on this weapon in the upcoming weeks. Another thing, I will be doing a recommendation video for the upcoming surprise ticket. I think I will upload this before the surprise ticket release, so let's keep that in mind. If you want to wait until my thoughts on the current units that are worth surprise ticketing, um, it hasn't changed too much if you want to watch a prior video, but there are a couple new units I want to recommend. So. It's up to you guys if you want to wait. If not, go ahead, go pick your unit, and uh, good luck with it. Another thing I will mention is that I will not be commentating over the battle because I am extremely tired as I had to farm a couple weapons and do a lot of Angel Halo because no grails. Struggle is real, and yeah. So just giving you guys a heads up on that. Now, with the Ogi on this weapon, I did do a video with the weapon as my main hand. It's the previous video to this video, I believe. So if you want to look at the weapon in action, you can just watch that. The Ogi is boost to all allies at multi-attack rate. It's 30% DA and 30% TA, and it lasts about three turns, 3.5 to be technical, meaning that on the turn, you Ogi, that's 0.5. In the case anybody ever wonder what's a 0.5 turn, it's the counting the turn that you Ogi on. Now the skill one is inconsequential. It's like actually not even that usable because majority of top tier dark units don't even have skill damage. So generally I'll just ignore it. I actually don't know the percent on it. Um, it's probably low anyway. It, it, it doesn't really matter much <laughs> to be honest. No one really running all men the dark skill damage build. Not really common, so don't worry too much about it. But what we're gonna worry about is the absolute equality and the they, oh, they mean they meant equality as you all be running the same grid eventually in the future with full mid break primals. Now this skill is very, 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 very unique. As it's a boost to attack and damage cap when all equipped weapons are different. You're like, what's different? I've heard that before. Yes. It's on another character in the game. It's one other character with the same the same text. It's an oracle. You may have heard of him. It's Kime. The Earth Oracle, you know, the Kime grid. He's so famous he has his own grid around him. Well, the grid has got a lot more universal. So you may be looking at the text on this weapon and be thinking, um, it look it does it doesn't mention dark attack. And that's very important. At because it does not mention an element, it's actually usable in every element. I know that may sound weird, but the second skill alone is actually usable in every element because it does not restrict itself to any element. So that's a very big thing, meaning that you can actually have this damage cap boost for each of your elements, meaning light, dark, all of them, doesn't matter. So very, very strong. Now the boost itself, the boost to attack is a 20% EX modifier, 20% EX multiplier, but puts it a little bit lower than a the uh, a Zeno weapon, which is 23. But you also gain 10% damage cap up, so that alone can make a huge difference in this grid, just from the 10% damage cap up. Because if you do cap, you have a higher threshold of damage. 
is someone who is also capping without this passive skill. So very, very strong skill and combined with a lot of setups, you can really do a ton of damage with very low cost because of the fact that it does require a ton of different weapons. Now do know it will be a lot of limited weapons like grand weapons and stuff like this in these grids. So it, it, I wouldn't say it's like free to play friendly, but it's more accessible to people who don't spark one banner. If you spark in like multiple different banners, it's more accessible to people. Like if you spark for like the character, you'd be more likely to get it because you probably have bars or laying around and whatnot. So it depends on your situation. Um, I would not call it free to play friendly because it's not. Please don't say it's free to play friendly. It's really not. 10 weapons is really hard. Well, nine weapons is really hard to achieve when it's nine good weapons that allow you to cap. Like this grid is only gonna be good if you're capping. So throwing it out there. Now, today's video, I, I know I'm a little bit late on it, but I was showing the element I'll be looking at today. It actually is fire. Um, so this is the fire grid I'll be running. It's a grid based around the weapon. One thing I will mention though, is that the Dark Opus is actually Magna. I don't believe that's optimal. You wanna run the Primal Opus, but currently do not have a Primal Opus for fire. So we gotta make do what we have. So you can see there are three grand weapons in this grid. We have the Crimson Finger, the Katana, and Rackham's Gun. I don't remember the names of them. I forget. Um, we also have Prometheus Staff in there, so. We, we do have an assortment of different weapons. Uh, the damage does fluctuate. I am running a spear team, meaning that we are relying on Anella's buff to really hit maximum damage output. Um, you do need Anella, you do need Shiva. Athena is replaceable, but Athena, no, uh, Anella and Shiva are not. You actually need them to hit the damage cap. This grid is only useful if you're hitting damage cap. Very, very important. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them, but I'm dying here. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'm going to give you the fight and you guys can make an assortment or, and thoughts on it. And if maybe something you want to farm in the future or maybe not, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. と貴さん。みんなと滅びの時来たり。燃え尽きよ。力を
命燃やす覚悟で参れ修行と心得よ